bright duty every student matters the next cycle is the carbon cycle now we know that carbon is one of the most integral part of organic life all right now there is a balance which has been maintained in the nature through carbon cycle but and this balance is because of the photosynthesis that is carried on by the plants and the respiration that is carried on by the organisms let us see how it is carbon is cycled repeatedly through different forms by the various physical and biological activities constituting the carbon cycle now what are they carbon cycle maintains the balance of the element carbon in the atmosphere carbon is found in various forms on the earth now what happens in the atmosphere we know that carbon dioxide is present now carbon dioxide are being taken up by the plants for the process of photosynthesis if i have to explain you in short for the process of photosynthesis carbon dioxide from the atmosphere are taken up by the leaves of the plants through the stomata now this carbon dioxide in the presence of water and sunlight and chlorophyll carry out the process of photosynthesis and convert it into the food glucose and oxygen now due to this photosynthesis the carbon dioxide is taken in now as a result of photosynthesis oxygen is produced now this oxygen is then taken in by the organisms for the process of respiration what is the by product what is the waste produced due to respiration that is carbon dioxide and thus we see this cyclic order continues and thus how the carbon cycle continues in the atmosphere the carbon cycle maintains a balance of the element carbon in the atmosphere how carbon is found in various forms on life diamond and graphite found in the soil are made up of element called carbon carbon is present in the atmosphere as carbon dioxide carbon can also occur as carbonates and bicarbonates in salts in minerals we know that the seas and oceans contains high contents of these carbonates and bicarbonates the endoskeleton and exoskeleton of various aquatic animals are also formed from carbonate salts the shells the bones they also contain lots of carbonates which contributes to the existence of carbon in on the earth carbon is an essential part of nutrients like carbohydrates fats proteins nucleic acids and vitamins and this balance is being perfectly maintained by the process of photosynthesis and respiration now what happens the carbon dioxide that is there in the atmosphere is dissolved gets dissolved in the form of carbonates in water and then they tend to result in the formation of limestone organic compounds the plants take in carbon dioxide for the process of photosynthesis as well as this carbon is also present in the form of petroleum in the form of coal in the on the earth these are fossil fuels and we know they got high content of carbon now what does these organic compound do these organic compounds due to the process of photosynthesis these carbon dioxide are being used up and then oxygen is being released so the respiration and decomposition tends to give out carbon dioxide to the atmosphere so here we find that carbon dioxide is been taken up by the plants for photosynthesis it is being dissolved in the water it has been used up in the process of making of fossil fuels but at the same time due to respiration and decomposition of the dead organisms these again goes back into the atmosphere and thus the balance of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is maintained i hope this is clear carbon cycle maintains the amount of carbon in the atmosphere the carbon cycle starts in plants step 1 plants use carbon dioxide in the atmosphere convert it into glucose in the presence of sunlight by the process of photosynthesis plants and animals break these carbohydrates for energy and release carbon dioxide through the respiration so you already see that these two processes of photosynthesis and response uh, respiration are responsible for maintaining the balance in step 2 what happens when the plants and animals die 
fungi and bacteria decomposes these dead remains and these also releases the carbon into the atmosphere. In the step 3, so the first process is through photosynthesis and respiration, second is through decomposition. Step 3, some plants and animals which get buried in the soil under certain temperature and pressure over millions of years get transformed into fossil fuels. Coal and petroleum are some of the fossil fuels and when you burn them due to combustion, carbon dioxide goes into the atmosphere. So we find that these three main processes are responsible for maintaining the balance of carbon dioxide, the balance of carbon cycle in the atmosphere.